look at it from top view and see what happens. So far, it looks okay. It's working out well for me. Okay, now I'm going to select the arm and I'm going to move it into position and look at it from top view. Now you may have trouble, so once you've selected it, you might want to move it into the center first, then look at it from right and bring it down. Look at it from top. It keeps wanting to do that. So you may have trouble. I don't know. I've been having trouble because it's snap. Sometimes it just snaps into a location that I do not want. So once I get it here, interesting. I'm just going to bring it there. I'm looking at it. Very frustrating here. All right, I think I've done it. So far, so good. There's my robotic vehicle so far. Now I'm going to look at it from right view yet one more time. And to, sh to show you this technique, to get the angle right, you can select one line, go Control C, Control V, place it well up here so that you'll be able to select it by itself, not have to worry about trying to unselect everything. So I want to hit the arc and here and here, make this half circle. I'm going to orbit. I'm going to use the push pull tool. Maybe I can pull it out four inches inner. And then out of my right view, I will select the entire thing. Um, what I'm going to do is use the move tool to center it first. Let's see, move tool. So I want to center it. Roughly there. And then I'm going to use the move tool to bring it down. I think I found a trick. Control Z, maybe not. We'll see what this does. We'll get it from right view. There we go. Top view. And everything worked out well. All right. Now, as you may know, I want you to return to the parallel, I mean, perspective view. And you can also take the materials box and find possibly gold. If you select colors and then you go for gold color, color, a gold color, um, gold is um, usually a color they put on space rovers and lunar landers and space landers to prevent um, getting damage from the UV light and the gamma rays and the X rays that are being emitted by the sun. I'm just selecting stuff. All right. And then you can always change these materials to the colors you like. For instance, maybe a, a blackish color here where the treads, well, that turned out nice. And then rotate. Oops. Remember, select the color, then the Material, maybe a, gr a gray color here for this arm. Let's rotate it. Um, and then also you can use, I prefer a water color for my dome there. And back to colors to finish this off. Let's see, where is the color? Where are the colors? Okay, 
I'm going back to my gold color, my orangish color. I'm going to finish it off right here. There we go. Covering the entire thing in gold. A gold Select the color, select the surface. There we go. And with that complete, oops, I'm sorry. With that complete, I just go to, I return to the display tab, turn off axes, turn shadows on. If you run into this problem where the shadow is cutting right through the front of your vehicle, you can turn axis back on. Place your model back into the parallel in the front view. Select your entire model. Use the move tool to move it all above and into the blue area. Maybe right down to the ground if you so choose. I want to move it right down to the ground. There. And then Return to parallel projection. I want you to orbit, you can deselect, you can turn off the axes. And these are skills you should be developing now. At this point, I feel that's a nice looking rover. It's all up to you what, how you design it. Hit the angle just so, and then hit save. Don't forget to save it in your SketchUp folder. Call it Planetary Rover. Don't forget to hit save, the save button. Once it's saved, you see it's saving there. It's called Planetary Rover. Select these three lines, export as PNG. Don't forget to click export as PNG. And there you see, it went to my downloads folder. It's verified, it's there. Go to downloads, there it is. That's the image that would be incredibly nice if you turn that in for assignment credit. I hope this assignment video helps. Good luck.